مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم dear students of grade 10 Mr. Raymond is back a new lesson a new unit unit 5 get the message and don't forget to try to support your prophet peace be upon him and behave as he did and the most important thing try to be strong and learn this is the best thing you can do for now of course you can think to boycott some products to follow your prophet and to obey to his orders and the most important to learn about him and to tell people about this great man Muhammad peace be upon him this is part of our values of our identity and the question have you ever heard about Sawad ibn Ghaziya I will tell you his story but in a different way are you ready أروي لكم عن قصة للمصطفى إذ قام يوما للجهاد منظما رص الصفوف كما الصلاة يصفهم فكأنهم بنيان سد أحكما وتجول المختار بين صفوفهم فإذا بشخص بينهم متقدما قد غير الصف القاوم خروجه نظر الرسول إليه ثم تبسما وبعود غصن للصفوف أعاده وأعاد للصف القوم تقوما قال الفاتى في رقة وتمسكون يشكو إلى المختار منه تألما ألمتني بالعود يا خير الورى فاستغرب الجمع الغافر وهمهما ما ظنكم ماذا يكون جوابه هذا رسول حاز خلقا عظما فتأملوا في قائد ومجند قد أزهر الإسلام عدلا فيهما هذا محمد كاشفا عن بطنه تفديه روحي مرسلا ومعلما يعطيه ذاك العود دون تردد ويقول خذ مني القصاص مسلما فإذا به في لهفات وتشوق وكأنه يروي الفؤاد من الظاما يجث سواد كي يضم حبيبه لم يستطع من شوقه أن يحجما ويعانق البطن الشريف بوجهه متبركا متمرغا كي يغنما يا سعده قد نال حظا وافرا أصغوا إلى ما قال حين تكلما يا سيدي إني خرجت مجاهدا وعدونا جيش يسير عرمراما لا علم لي إن كنت أمسي بينكم حيا لعلي أو قتيلا ربما فإذا قتلت فلست أدري موئلي في جنة أم في سعير أضرما لكن جلدي مسى جلدك علني أمضي وجلدي عن جهنم لكن جلد مسى جلدك علني أمضي وجلدي عن جهنم حرما صلى الله عليك خير الورى 
قد صار حبك في شراييني داما I have nothing to add, I have no comments, so to our lesson, a grammar lesson, you will need your student's book, page 62. Our objectives will be to learn about relative pronouns, RP, and relative adverbs, RA, their uses, the rules of substitution and omission. We aim as well to show understanding and to use these pronouns and adverbs to fill the gaps and to show understanding by playing some old wall games. Are you ready? There is a mistake, it will be corrected. Don't forget our values, our identity and be strong, as strong as you can. Spread the message as far as you can and don't forget let's start with a world war game ready we need to complete with one of these words which are question words because we need to put them at the beginning to form a question so, shall I say what is my bag, or when is my bag, or where is my bag, if the answer is in the, the chair, I'm asking about the place, so it is where, to the next, the answer is I sleep, I have three question words, what, when, where, to form the question about an action, about something I do. So, what do you do at night? I sleep. Great, two boys. I want to know their names. So, it's simple. What are their names? The same as, what is your name? I'm asking about something, about an information. And now, I am asking about the time. And the question will be, when have we got maths on Tuesday? My friends always have dinner at half past seven. Again, I'm asking about the time. And the question word is when, of course. I need to complete this question to get a full mark, a question whose answer is he's at school, I'm asking about the place, it is not what, it is not when, so it is where. Wow, we started in a nice way. As you started well, I have a question. Are oh, the words you used like who, where, what, when, only used to ask questions? Yes, I didn't hear you. You say you know about the word who, which can be used to what? As a relative pronoun to replace a person great so my question will be for you how do you distinguish between the question word who and the relative pronoun who yes ali you don't know about relative pronouns don't worry we will learn about these but before starting again, I remind you of the notions of perfectness, strength, and don't forget, this is the best way to show your love to your country that really deserves the best. 
Just open your student's book on page 62 and let's learn about relative pronouns and relative and verbs. And before completing task A, I have something for you that will help you understand relative pronouns and relative adverbs. Ready? Let's go. But know first that when we talk about relative pronouns and relative adverbs, we are talking about relative clauses. And relative pronouns are who or whom, which, who's, that. And relative adverbs are when and where. And just to let you know and why. So, again, the relative pronouns are when, who, where, whose, which, and that. We use who when we want to refer to a person, like Ali, Salem, the doctor, which is generally used to replace an object, a table, an animal, and the like. We use when to talk about time and where to replace a place. We use whose to talk about belongings or possession. That is used to replace who and which. So to replace people and things as well. Some examples. This is the man who was arrested for the murder. Or the man who was arrested for the murder is John Appleton. Park Avenue is where it all happened. I think he's telling a story. The weapon which was used to kill her was found on the scene of the crime. It happened at three in the afternoon when children are going back home from school. The old woman whose daughter died is extremely depressed. And she stands in the room where her daughter. And she always stands in the room where her so, before going back to your student's book, remember, the most frequent relative pronouns are who or whom for people, which for objects, where for places, when for time and that for people and objects, and the most important relative adverbs are where, for place, when, for time, and why for given reason and now back to our students book and task a someone to read the instruction please read the examples and answer the questions let's start with the questions which of the words in blue refers to people Places, time, things and ideas, and possession. And the second question is, in which of the examples can we replace the word in blue with that? And in which of the examples can we omit the word in blue? Yes? You don't know when to replace some words with that and when to omit some of these pronouns or adverbs no problem just pay attention pay attention my dear we said that that can replace who and which and that that the relative pronoun that can use to refer to people and objects. This will help you to answer one of the questions. And 
Now I will give you some information to help you answer the third question. Relative pronouns cannot be omitted if they are the subjects of the clauses, like the man who visited us yesterday is a famous professor, but we can omit the relative pronoun if it is not the subject of the clause to say it is the object of the clause. The house which or that we bought is very big, or you can just say the house we bought is very big. Actually, we, we are the doer, the subject, we bought an object which is the house. So here we can omit the relative pronoun. As a tip, if you have the relative pronoun followed by a verb, you cannot omit it. But if it is followed by a subject, now you can omit this relative pronoun. Again, sometimes we can do it without who or which or that, like the shoes I bought without which the shoes I bought were a size too small. So if you say the shoes which I bought were a size too small or the shoes I bought were a size too small, you can understand both sentences. So the omission of which does not really affect the sense. Pay attention, you cannot do the same with the pronoun who and that when it replaces a person, a subject, a doer of an action. The girl who I saw at the party is his sister. The girl I saw is actually his sister. This is not the same. There is a difference between the two sentences, so we cannot omit who and that when it replaces a person. And now I think you can read the sentences to answer the questions. Yes, please do it. A. There are some languages which do not require speech at all. B. Aiden is a student who has to learn whistling at his school. C. Sign language is something which you can learn quite easily. A fourth sentence. In Mexico, there is a region where people use whistling to communicate. A. I was at university with a girl whose grandfather was a professor of chemistry. And the last sentence, F, is The time when whistled languages were invented remains somewhat of a mystery. It's unknown. So, can you answer the questions? Which of these words in blue, which, who, where, whose, and when, refers to people? And which refers to places, time, things, and possession? Yes, who refers to people, where refers to places, when refers to time, which to things and ideas, and whose refers to possession. That the relative pronoun that can replace which in A and C, and it can replace who in B. And if you want to know about the example in which we can omit which, I can tell you that it is C. And that's because which refers to the object of the verb. Here we finish it with task A and to task B. I want you to show me that you really understood what we saw. 
someone to read the instruction complete with who which that whose where or when if they can be omitted or deleted put them in brackets pause the video and try to do it you came back so fast yes please the door is yours do you know a good language school where I can learn Russian true because we are asking about a place two yes actually I have a colleague whose wife is a secretary you correctly answered because we need a possession or a possession hold on remember that day it's a time so when exactly is that the guy it's a person so we can use who or that great now that was brian george is one again a person and again and again we can use who or that to number six it's a language so it's something and it is which or that might help my career I can't stop thinking about the time when I went to Moscow exactly but is it because it is a time to the last gap to be completed you've been to Moscow wow it's certainly a city where is what visiting are we talking about the city here as a place or something yes so we want to define it which or that excellent remain a question which of these can be omitted yes Ali only one number five because it is the only place where the relative pronoun replaces an object you are a great boy so here is the list of relative pronouns and relative adverbs to use and to the last part again i want you to show me that you have understood everything it's just a game ready let's do it which of these pronouns are used for people things both people and things and which is used for place yes you already know the one used for both people and things what about place it's where people who and which is used to replace or to refer to things are you sure you are the champion You want one more game? I cannot refuse your demand. Let's do it and let's open the box. Which number to start with? Let's choose number four. Emperor penguins are the penguins. Who were which? Great! You are talking about animals, things. To number five. A tornado is a natural phenomenon. Which again, it's something we can find in the nature. To the first one. This is the city, it's a place and it's where. 
you are doing very nice and you are so fast. <laughs> Number two, Mr. Davis is the teacher. Which, where, who is a person who taught me when I was three. And to number three, Steve is the boy who, as we don't have that, and I think you did very well. You need more games? Just use your mobiles, use the QR for a first game, a second game, or if you want, just go to World War Community, type the question and play any game you want. Because we have achieved all our objectives, I want just to remind you a last time about our values and about our identity. Be strong to support your prophet, peace be upon him, and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.